here in the zone, and yes, we don't indeed. really always talk about the Potomac. I feel like very rarely, but this is very interesting. Yes, yes. You're Tom. from here. Yes. I, I'm sure you heard all kinds of stories. Yes. About the Potomac. At one point, they thought the Loch Ness monster <laughs> Get out lived. Of here. Stop oh, it. no, for real. They used to say all kinds of monsters lived in the All right, the, well, it's hot. River. It's getting hotter. It's summertime. And for people who aren't from here, they're like, oh, this is a nice river. Jump in, go yeah, swimming. Yeah, well, you know, back up until maybe the 20s or 30s, maybe the 40s, people used to actually swim in the Potomac River like it was nothing in the summertime. Cut what off happened? your shorts. <laughs> well. So now the big question in 2023 is, is it safe for swim? Is it safe for other activities? Because we really don't see that. I mean, we see yeah. people out there on kayaks. Well, I mean, and kayaks and, and you know, the paddle boards, but we don't see a lot of swimming. So. All right, well, let's speak with the Potomac River Keeper, Dean Nalyox, who's with us tonight. Hey, Dean. Uh, Dean, how Hello. soon could we get back in that water? Is it safe as we speak right now? It's definitely safe from Loch Ness Monsters. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we released our own swimmable Potomac report last year. We've been sampling every week um, for the last four years, and there's definitely plenty of areas where it's safe to swim. Uh, they do weekly swims at National Harbor. That's an 88% pass rate. Wow. Okay four years so there's there's plenty of areas that are safe enough for swimming in the potomac so river give, and give us those areas <laughs> national harbor is one of them where else could we go out if we wanted to take a dip well unfortunately it is illegal to swim in dc uh but people are in the water believe it or not yeah. at three sisters and other places so up near key bridge there's a lot of people using the river is the water really? okay Bang. there in that region of the Key Bridge? Because you certainly see people on stand-up paddle boards, kayaking, etc. But say you, you were to fall into the river. Yeah, is, what happens? Is it safe? Well, here's the best thing I can tell you. We have an app called Swim Guide. You can download it and you can get the weekly results for all 30 sampling sites okay. every week. And 90,000 DMV users have used that over the last three years to find out when it's safe to go in the river and when it's not. So after a rain event, we have the combined sewer systems that overflow and cause bacteria issues. And that's when we don't want people to go in the river. Okay. Okay. 60, 70, 80% of the time in a lot of places, it's safe enough to swim like in the Washington Channel. 88% um, of the time it passes, it's clean enough for human contact. Wow. Okay, so DMV, listen, if you're listening right now, I know we have here in the DMV have said do not go near that water. Um, you know, we, we fish there, but we don't swim in it. What I'm hearing today from my man Dean is that we can go swimming in certain parts of the river using an app. Did I say that correctly, Dean? Yeah, the Swim Guide app. Just take a look at it. We want people to use it. So that way they know, that way they're informed when it's safe to go in the river, when it's not. But rule of thumb is 48 hours after a rain event, don't go in the river. After that, 72 hours or so, you can usually get in the river. All right. Water. That is Good. some All sage right. advice. The Dean Nalyak, okay. thank you for coming on. I might. I'm, I, I just might. Okay, just make sure it's also legal, okay? Yeah. I don't well, want I, you coming out no, of there. I'm, you know, like, I'm going to the illegal part. All right. Uh, what are people saying about this? Now, we went to the streets to ask people how they felt about it. And, well, here's what they had to say, everybody. Check it out. It's, it's getting better. They're improving. The, the yeah. eagles have come back. Some fish have come back. Would you consider swimming in it in, let's say, the next three years? I don't know. I got to see. I don't want to be the first one. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. I don't want to be the first one, but I like that they're improving it. I used to row on the Potomac River in high school. Oh, okay. And uh, I would say do not get in that river. It is disgusting. <laughs> nah, I hate it. So you have first-hand knowledge, experience. first hand experience. Infections up their arm. Say that, hold on, say that one more time. I say they get staph infections up their arm from the water. I've seen two two kids, my good friends. So you're saying no, no, no. Even if they told you that, okay, there's no chance of you ever getting another staph infection up your arm. Would you consider swimming in the Potomac? You know, based on my past experiences, absolutely not. What makes you not cautious about swimming in the Potomac? Hey, there's gonna be danger anywhere, so all good. Take your risks and chances. You take a swim in the Potomac River? No. <laughs> Everybody, look, he laughed. He he busts out laughing when I asked the question. The great, it's improving though. They're cleaning it up. Would you, even if it was clean? He said no comment. Would you guys consider swimming in the Potomac River? I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, I would. I would consider it. I think. I would at least wade in there. I feel like if it was cleaned, I would swim. I would oh, swim. you would at least wade. Yeah. Not necessarily putting your, your I, face. I would kind of need like a visual check on it, but I no, I'm probably not putting my face in it no. either you way. You, but you at least at least wade. Yeah. How long? How long do I have to stay in? 
<laughs> so like it's definitely so, or? so like it's you, you going swimming with your, your friends and your family for a day down to the Potomac. Is that something that you would consider in your life in the next ten years? No. <laughs> 